Uh, good evening everyone, it's me again, Al Brown Spencer. <clears throat> Today is Thursday, the uh, 21st of January 2021. <clears throat> As I explained in the previous video today, I haven't received any penny from my compensations or invested money and the situation is still stands. And nothing has changed and the use, abuse and torture is still going on. And when I say use and abuse and torture is still going on, I mean it. And as I said in the previous video, I will talk about things that was done to me and I'll explain to you things in details. So I will explain today and I'm going to talk today about uh, one incident that I experienced and this is just like. I would say it wasn't the easiest but compared to what I what else that I was made to experience that wasn't the worst if I may say however it shouldn't happen to anyone anyway <clears throat> so imagine this you are being beaten up by seven people for no reason and being arrested and taken to a police station and then they negotiated with you over letting it go and when I say letting it go I mean they, tell, they are telling you if you don't report what we did to you today and just let it go and go we are going to let it go as well so when I said no and made it clear I was going to report it and so on, which I did later on, they actually called an ambulance and they took me to a mental health hospital and they kept me for four nights being examined by a psychiatrist and so on. And this just for them to keep me away for four nights until my wounds from the beat up before the arrest or during the arrest and the scuffs and all of this to be at, e at least eased up so they played it well anyway because they knew even <clears throat> going getting out of the mental health hospital which was inevitable anyway because I didn't and I don't and I have ever never uh, 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 suffered from any kind of mental health issues or whatever so anyway, they played it well because they knew even, you know, going out and trying to report it, it was going to take long before even my wounds, you know, can uh, stay and be reported and, and shown. Anyway, it is, it, is, it is a little bit, you know, disturbing just remembering it. But I remember when I was like looking to them and say, why are you doing this? And asking them if they were completely corrupted. And they didn't say anything. They just had orders to do so. Their orders were to arrest me and beat me up. And that's it. Regardless, I'm an innocent person. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't, you know, break the rules. I didn't break the law, blah, blah, blah. But th this is what they ordered or that's what they were ordered and that's what the orders were for them and anyway <clears throat> this is just one thing that was done to me and I, I promise you it was painful I mean I remember one of them kneed me in the side of my right leg and that's exactly the strip muscle long muscle that is from the hip all the way to the knee that is in between the quadriceps and the hamstrings and literally that guy need me there and it was like you stabbed me in the leg with a deformed metal object that is just turned muscles and tissues and everything in its way in so it, it was unbelievably painful and it was really really like a bolt in, in my leg and 
other stuff and all of this so this is just <clears throat> one thing that you know i experienced and I, it was done to me and it, to be honest with you if i can uh, uh, describe what th was done to me on a scale from one to a hundred where one is the easiest or the the less painful <laughs> experience and a hundred is the most painful experience I would say this was number one <clears throat> that that you know arrest and beat up and all of this that was number one and uh, and yeah uh, it was unbelievably disturbing and I couldn't believe it and I got out and I complaint and they sent lots of messages and complaints and all of this no one no one is was helping or tried to help it's the same situation like me now i found lots of solicitors everywhere even international solicitors human rights organizations here in the uk and abroad uh, solicitors here and abroad everywhere and all the doors are being locked and blocked in front of me and i'm going nowhere it's not only this i am being Put in this kind of fantasy world where whatever I'm doing is just people put there to receive what I'm saying in in just in, in a way of relieving me or whatever so for example my phone calls here and there uh, this is what I believe in I, I mean I hope I hope the otherwise so I can go some get somewhere and and you know get my 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 case you know to public but I mean solicitor I I you know recorded lots of phone calls solicitors and all of this and i'm trying my best and i'm being put in this fantasy world where my efforts are being wasted uh people might think if you watch if or if that's if you have a chance to watch my previous videos and my claims in terms of the financial claims i'm claiming six million pounds for what was done to me and all of this if you ever if you are one of my abusers or you are someone in the authority or you're someone normal or someone who do even don't doesn't know me or has got nothing to do with anything and you think that this is exaggeration in terms of the finances or the financial compensations that i am claiming all what i can say is I would like to know what would you think if you are put through exactly everything I was put through so in other words I would want you to experience everything I have experienced and then you come out in the other side from the other side or the other angle or the other whatever end and tell me how do you feel do you think that what I'm claiming is less, more, right? And you just tell me. And have I said that what I experienced and what I was subject to in terms of use, abuse and torture involved even more than physical, mental, personal, you know, torture. It involved even lives that were executed or lost and I am someone who doesn't believe in death uh, as a kind of punishment or as a kind of, you know, execution. I, I don't believe in execution or all of this shit. I believe that the human, li the human lives or any human life is the most be precious thing in the world and everyone should do their best to protect it and I believe that every loss in, of a human life due to religious or low beliefs or rules and all of this or tribal or whatever it is is a shame and a loss for the whole humanity when someone dies and I'm talking about dies as in the form of being killed or executed in any way, form or shape, no matter what's the reason. This is a failure for the whole community, for the whole world, for the whole, for everyone. 
I mean, we are human beings. It took us a long, long time to evolve and reach this kind of technology and understanding and all of this. And we've been through lots of wars and we should be better than this. And we should understand that executing someone or killing someone will never solve any problem. So in other words, I don't want to rehearse on this subject and leave the main subject I'm talking about today, but I will talk about, you know, what I believe in, in terms of, you know, I'm against execution and so on in another video. But in any way, people who think that what I'm asking is too much, you should go through and you must go through what I've been through. And then you can decide if what I'm asking is too much or too little. And I promise you what I've been through is a lot. So in other words, if you are someone out there in the authority, decision maker, uh, the head in hand that is, you know, stirring things around and moving things around in the authority, whatever you are, whoever you are, whatever kind of life you have and all of this if you think that what i'm asking is too much you must go through what i've been through then you can tell me if what i'm asking is too much or not and anyway i don't wish what was done to me to be done to anyone because i promise you you wouldn't bear it you wouldn't last a day and i promise you you would just go like like this and I'm not just trying to make it look like I'm tough strong no. but this is the fact I've been through what no one else could have gone through and survived and I promise you just the beat up by you know seven people put in a prison or put in a cell and all of this this and when I say seven people I don't want to be like you know promoting a video against the authority and say but of course you know who I'm referring to but again I'm not against this authority as a kind of organization and so on it's against the corrupted individuals who would misconduct or trespass and use their authorities that was given to them by the states against people and that's what was done to me no matter what is the reason if you think that you're doing something right or this person deserve this blah 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 this is this is not a justification or a reason for you to do so it's simple if you ask a little kid is harming people okay they would say no it's not okay is beating up people is okay no it's not okay is torturing people is okay no it's not okay so in other words you have no right to justify what you did to me anything you did to me is unbelievable and if you're trying to undermine my claim the financial claim or the moral claim or the punishment the fair punishment i'm requesting or claiming for my abusers you should go through what i've been through you must go through what i've been through then you will understand what i'm talking about to me you will understand that this is you know nothing so in other words how much how much if you have money how much would it would it would it mean to you or i mean how much it is to you to save one of your family of being tortured or raped or in prison for no reason or beaten up on every day, single day and and so on and by the way without you jumping to conclusion you have demented minds if you are one of my abusers i'm not blackmailing you i'm not threatening you I have no authority, I have no power, I cannot do anything. I am just a human being trying to live. And if there is anyone out there claiming to be protecting me or looking after me or whatever, that's all what I can say. I mean, where were you fucking cunts when I was, you know, my life was squeezed or being squeezed out of me bit by bit. I was holding on to it as much as I could. Anyway, so in other words, if you think that what I'm claiming is less, you, sh you must experience what I 
experienced and you are if you are one of my abusers or one of the people who caused me this or participated in anything that was done to me and you think that I'm exaggerating or whatever you must go through what I've been through so you can say ooh this guy so seriously this guy deserves this or whatever so in other words you know I'm trying my best I am being put in this fantasy world so people I contact and all of this and again what are you gonna do I mean the lockdown is gonna be finishing anyway and I will be able to protest again and I will be able to contact media and everything what are you gonna do fix a mistake by another mistake fix an abuse by another abuse fix another fuck up by another fuck up so be it you will keep stacking and piling up your mistakes and your fuck up day after day the way that it's not just gonna be you paying the price for the, your fuck up and mistakes it's gonna be everyone in your fucking family so in other words if you make a mistake just admit it and fucking pay man and when I say pay I mean what it is is it if you make a mistake and you can pay out someone for what you cause them it's easier than trying your best to cover up or make it less loss or whatever and in the end you will pay and you might be paying even greater price so just think properly because you're gonna cause yourself and your family and everyone disturbance and paying the price for your own fucking mistakes and I'm telling you this and I promise you I have no power no authority nothing and I'm just living my life as it is being myself doing the stuff I like and all of this and I'm not gonna give up asking for my right for what you did to me fucking hell you fucked me up for a long long time you destroyed my life inside out upside down you have to pay there is no question about this the other thing as well, people who think that I'm making these videos and I live in the United Kingdom and I have a British passport, I promise you I'm not making this up and I promise you this is the truth and I promise you that was done to me here in the UK and I'm taking this to the United Nations, to the European Union, to the human rights organizations in Europe and in the world to let them know that even here in the UK it's authority is authority man if they don't care about humanity or your human rights your freedom or whatever just you know they would do anything they want to you that's it end of story and I promise you I mean in other videos I'm gonna explain even more about what they did to me in details and information I have and all of this about how they do things how they do this and that you will understand it's just it's just a big fuck up so in other words you know I am being genuine I'm being myself I'm not making things up I'm not just doing these videos or claiming for pennies or trying to scoop money or whatever I promise you I promise you I'm being genuine and these people owe me a lot and any one of them trying to put doubts about this or the amount I'm claiming or my compensations and so on I'm telling you if you question this and you did this to me you must go through this and you must go through what you put me through so you understand that what I'm claiming is nothing towards your let's say I don't wanna be like I'm threat I'm not threatening you I don't have any power or anything but imagine this what you did to me what would you rather have that you pay me compensation for what you did to me or have your son, your daughter, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your wife or whatever going through what you put me through. Just imagine it this way or yourself. And again, I'm not threatening anyone. I have no power. I'm a peaceful man. I hate violence and I hate, you know, this stuff. I'm just trying to trigger things in your mind to think properly, to be fair, rather than, you know, being deluded with the power you have and the authority and think that you are untouchable. Because I promise you, no matter what you think, 
you are a human being you are a living organism and because you're a living organism you have a, a frame of time or a limited time to live so whether you live 50 60 70 80 100 years in the end you're gonna die so you're not gonna live forever so in other words just think about it this way you are not mortal uh, sorry you are not immortal you are mortal you will you know die in, in the end this is what it is and if you believe in heaven hell blah 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 good for you man it's up to you i mean i don't believe in god i don't believe in hell and heaven and i believe this is the only life i have i will have no other choice i will have no other life i will have no other afterlife when i die i'm dead and i'm gone that's it i'm not coming back in any way form or shape i'm not gonna live another life and all of this so i'm already 44 years old and you out there if you're watching this you would understand how long you wasted on my life in in torture and use abuse and visible cage and it's a long story so you fucked me up for a long 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 time you wasted many years of my life so i have no other chance this is my only life and you're wasting it so you should stop and think about it this way because i'm not gonna stop i mean the lockdown is gonna last is not going to last forever and i'm gonna do my best i know you have the power and the means to suppress me or whatever but i don't fucking care you destroyed my life upside down inside out the way that i don't fucking care it's either i get my compensations and start living and my freedom and all of this and start living my life or you do whatever you want to me i don't fucking give a toss i mean just for the records when you put me on false uh, and fake reasons and allegations and put me in prison for four months three and a half months of which i was thinking that every day is my last day and i promise you you killed me over hundred times hundred times you killed me every day was my last day for me so do you think i give a toss for what you could do to me again or cause me i don't give a toss but i if i succeed i'm gonna bring your fucking backyard out there in europe and the world and i'm gonna show how disgusting and how awful and how fucking cunts you are end of story so in other words what do you want to do you want to do something take this because that's what you're gonna get from me anyway so in other words, I have to do what I have to do. You can do what you think you can do. By the way, in the end of the day, you feel tired and you go to sleep. Can you guarantee you're going to wake up, you fucking piece of shit cunts? No. So if you cannot guarantee if you're going to wake up, why do you think you can guarantee that you will actually beat me when I have all the rights to sue you and fucking sue your ass down just a question anyway everyone out there i'm gonna post more videos it's a lockdown i'm trying my best protesting they stopped me because of the lockdown and many other things they are using the authorities and the last thing i would i will say before i go life is so beautiful it's only one life don't fucking waste it believing you're gonna have another life and come on if you think you have another another life just live this one live what you've got in your hand this is what you can touch what you can feel this is what you have just live it and if if you are right and you have another life and there is power out there that can put you back together after you after you die decompose and become dust and bones good for you man i'm not gonna say anything but come on live your life man and let other lives and before i go i 
I have two things to say or two words to discuss with you and I promise you this is the last thing I'm going to say before I end this video in an ideal world and I'm saying ideal so people who believe in religious and religions and, and religious people and all of this don't believe in this and people who you know I, I don't want I don't want to be like you know offending anyone but two words contradictive words this is from my own point of view one of them we must fight with all our power to erase from vocabulary and existence and this word is harm harm if we can diminish and make this word vanish from existence so no one would get harmed in any way form or shape then we are trying or we would we're just that close to making this world perfect you imagine a world that no one gets harmed in any way or form or shape the other word which we should with all our power spread support and try to make prevail which is happiness happiness in every way form or shape the simplest way you can spread happiness in the world in the world is to smile when you walk on the street if you smile to someone and be nice you're spreading happiness you're making them happy and you will be happy as well so happiness we spread we support harm we fight and we erase from vocabulary on this end of bombshell and i will say have a good night take care of yourselves and wish me good luck in my fight for my dignity honor freedom future happiness and everything anyway take care of yourselves and be happy don't harm anyone and spread happiness anyway take it easy bye